How's it going fellow Detroit Red Wings fans? So last video we talked about trading chips the Red Wings could use come the trade deadline. And in a future video we will be talking about players or teams we could go after and some mock trades. But today I want to shift our focus to a prospect overseas in the SHL who had a rocky start but has lit a fire underneath him and really has started to take over his age group and team. I believe we have talked about him before a couple of times, but he is the giant 6'8", 6'9", Swedish winger, Elmer Soderblom. And we need to talk about what his uprising could mean for the Wings. But before we get too far in today's video, I want to give a shout out to MickDJ44. We hit the 1000 subscriber mark a little bit ago and want to start thank you guys for making the Red Wing Nation community a community. So, if you want to get a shout out, make sure you subscribe and join lots of other fans of this great team and sport. So, back to Soderblom. The 238 pound monster only recorded 5 points in 28 games played with Frolunda last season. To be fair, he wasn't necessarily playing a lot of minutes a night either, but it definitely wasn't a great season for the Swedish Giant. He did have a good showing at the World Junior Championships with Lucas Raymond on Team Sweden. He had three points in five games, two of those three points being goals, and, well, they were highlight reel goals, and those were definitely the highlight of his season. During the offseason, Soderblom really went to work on increasing his speed, getting stronger, and being able to protect and control the puck much better. Well, his start of the season was rough. Soderblom only recorded three points in his first eight games played with Frolanda, but since then, he has 17 points in 26 games, including two games where he recorded two goals each. Needless to say, since then, he has been an offensive force, every night leading him to a point total of 14 goals, 6 assists for 20 points in 34 games played, which doesn't sound like a lot, but remembering the SHL is a men's league, and in my opinion, similar skill level to that of the AHL, not exact, but close, and his point totals on his team and amongst his peers are shockingly good. On Volunda, Soderblom is tied for third on the team in points, and in goal scored is first and has a pretty large margin on the next best goal scorer in Volunda. Then you look at U21 scoring, he is the top scorer. The next best player is Albert Johansson, which just speaks to how good of a season he is having on loan with Fargeson. And then the next best forward, Nolan Gunler, is behind Soderblom by a good margin especially in the goal department. This is all while averaging less than 15 minutes a night, still. So all this is great and all, but what does it mean for the Red Wings other than a prospect is doing really good? Well, you see, while the Red Wings need to improve in pretty much every category, one of the biggest ones has to be the power play. As it is, the Wings sit at 29th in terms of power play percentage in the league. So fourth from the bottom. And well, you see a hulking six foot eight forward who can score fairly often, especially around the net. Well, you put two and two together and realize Soderblom could be a major answer in restoring the Red Wings power play and really offensive lineup. Once his season wraps up, he should sign his entry level contract with the Red Wings and make his way over to the North American ice, most likely to lace up the skates with Grand Rapids, but you never know. I sure didn't think Lucas Raymond would be lacing it up with the Red Wings at the start of the season this year. So what do you guys think? Is Elmer Soderblom the next big deal? Is he possibly a late round gem? Let us know down below. Red Wing Nation was designed to be a community of Red Wings fans that could come together and talk about all things Red Wings. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like. That way we make more content that you like. And lastly, if you are a Red Wings fan, if you are a hockey fan, if you're just a great person, Make sure you subscribe and join lots of other great fans of this team and sports. And until next time, lights on the red light district.